Hello, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, today, yeah, uh, we can meet again in virtual class. Thank you for all of you, yeah, for joining into our class. And for today is our meeting 15, yeah. Our topic is about first day at work. Okay. Uh, it is the last topic for our material in this semester. I believe after this one, yeah, I hope you can uh, speak, yeah, firmly, yeah, in your speaking. Uh, let's see for our uh, material. Thank you. Okay, here I have an examples of first day at work, yeah, and. Uh, also about the adjective in comparison for our topic for today and uh, here is the simple conversation that you can understand yeah uh, the situation john was hired as a financial analyst by lintel today today's john's first day at work and this is related to our topic uh, last week yeah, about job interview and also the tool last uh, week. Yeah, it's about the uh, looking for a job. But here, about the first day at work, yeah, just about the conversation uh, between Mike and John. And I will read and please... Uh, try to understand about the conversation here. Okay, start from Mike here. Good morning, John. And then John. Good morning, Mike. And then Mike. Let me take you to your subicle and then I will give you a tour of our facility. And then Mike. Here is cubicle. You're home away from home. From 8 to 5 every day, John. And then John. Oh, very nice. And Mike. Drop your belongings here and let's go. John. Okay, I'm ready, Mike. And then Mike. There is Mary over there. She's our senior financial analyst. You will be working with her in the future. Let's go say hi to her. And then Mike, Mary, this is John, our department's new edition. And then Mary asks, Welcome abroad, John. I'm very glad to see you. Boy, I was warm with work the last couple of weeks, but I can't see myself going home at a more decent time from now on. And then John, thank you. I'm very happy. To be here just let me know whenever you need me i'm glad to any assistance and then mike i am giving john a tour of our facility so that he knows his way around here and then mary answer see you later john and then john okay mary okay and then mike say again we are now in the finance department, next to us on on your left is the accounting department. On your right is the human resources department. Go downstairs and we are in the engineering department. Further down, at the end of hallway is the production area. 70% of our merchandise is produced he, right here in this facility. We also have one smaller manufacturing facility overseas that handles the rest of production. You will be dealing with Steve, the production manager. I will introduce you to him later because he is in a meeting at the moment. Let's go back to your desk so that we can talk about your duties. And then John, okay. And then Mike. Like I said during the interview, one of your daily jobs is to deal with the bank to keep track of our financial resources. Every morning, 
you will access our account through the internet to get financial information. And John asks, I should have a login a password, right? Mike answer, yes. I will call our bank to inform them that you that you are a new employee. Your next task is to call overseas to get other necessary information. And then John, what kind of data do I need to get from our people overseas? And then Mike, you will need financial data about their current and future projects. And then John asks, do they need any information from me? Then Mike answer, yes, you need to work with them on their budgets. You can fax or email them the information. If you need to talk them, call them as soon as you get in. Remember that they are eight hours ahead of us. And then John, the fax machine and the copier are the next one, right? I saw them with you took me around. And then Mike, yes. Make sure that you create a file for each overseas project. You and I will review them at the end of every week. And then John, in the beginning, you can review the files with me more often. I just want to make sure that I do my job car correctly. Yes, come see me whenever you have a question. And then John, thank you. And then Mike. It is almost the end of November, so your next major task is to help prepare the budget of next year. You will work closely with Mary on this project. And then John. There is a long and tedious task. There will be a lot of calculation and a lot of and a lot of questions to ask, right? And then Mike, yes. So it's better that both of you start working on this project as soon as possible. John, I will get together with Mary soon. And then Mike, okay. That should enough for now. I leave you on your own to get organized. And then John say, thank you, Mike. Okay, based on the conversation here, we can see the first that you must do when you, uh, you, and you are in your work here at the first time, the first you must try to know and understand all of the companies related to the members of the companies, the employees, the companies. And also here, when you want try to meet the someone else in the first time, the first is try to introduce yourself by using the well uh, greetings. Yeah, in your greetings, you can say hi, hello, and then how do you do? Nice to meet you. I'm glad to see you. I'm happy to see you like that. Okay, that's the point when you meet someone else in the first time. Uh, like uh, Mary and uh, Mary and uh, Mike uh, here, yeah. I like uh, this one. Welcome abroad, John. I'm very glad to see you like that. Okay, and then yeah, I'm happy to be here. Okay, that's the point when you uh, meet the someone else, yeah, in the first time. And the next one talks about the, uh, our, yeah, our conversation in the first time also try to know and understand about all of the companies. It includes about the tax, includes about the, uh, position of the place, okay, about the uh, room by room, okay, about the people, the person, the employee, and so on and so on, okay. That's about the point when you meet uh, and you are in the first time in your job or in your working. 
that's about the conversation the next part we talk about the grammar review about adjective in comparison adjective yeah adjective can be used in comparison yeah there are two kinds of comparison degree the first is comparative form and the second one is about superlative form okay let's see for the first part first part is about comparative form in comparative form here we can use for example we try to compare two things we can't compare two person we can to compare to objects okay and in this case we usually add more blah 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 then as blah 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 then as blah 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 as here is uh, show, is showing to positive comparison okay positive degree i mean but for more plus than for comparative degree okay comparative form yeah blah 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 here you can fill in adjective okay and then less than less more is used to show a greater degree greater degree yeah the condition of characteristic expressed in the sentence meanwhile for as blah 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 as for positive degree yeah for the same degree and the last blah 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 then for laser degree for example like this one okay uh i am 20 years old and then my mother is uh 59 years old yeah different between i and my mother yeah i am younger than my mother right saya berumur 29 tahun Ibu saya itu umurnya 59. Nah, mana yang lebih muda? Saya atau ibu saya? Tentu saja saya. Oke? Okay? Mana lebih tua? Saya dengan ibu saya. Tentu saja ibu saya. Because in my sentence try to compare two things in different. Saya mencoba untuk membuat perbedaan ya antara saya dengan ibu saya yaitu membandingkan dua hal yang berbeda. If you want to compare two things in differentiate, you can use comparative form. Yeah, comparative form, yeah, by using the more blah 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 than. So, my sentence become, I am younger than my mother is. That's the point. For one syllable. One syllable. Syllables means like suku kata. For example, like, uh... Old, satu kali pengucapan. Okay, one syllable. Beautiful, beautiful. Three syllable. So, when you want to use the beautiful word in your sentence, you can put more before the adjective. For example, saya dengan ibu saya. Mana lebih cantik? Misalnya, ibu saya lebih cantik. So, my sentence become... My mother is more beautiful than I am. Kenapa saya gunakan more? Because beautiful, yeah, has a three syllable. Beautiful. Different with old, tua. Become older. If one syllable, you just use the adjective plus E R for example like this one yeah this one if the adjective is short word we usually replace more yeah with E R in the end of the adjective John is taller tall one syllable so tall plus E R and then then James Mary is older than this yeah, the same with my sentence letter. Okay, so that you must remember is try to know about the syllable first. For one syllable, use er after adjective. Meanwhile, for the two or more syllable, you can use more plus adjective plus then. That's for the comparative form. And then for s plus s here, okay. 
S plus S not comparative but for positive degree for the same degree. For example, saya punya uh, saya berumur 29 tahun. Kemudian misalnya Bu Nora juga berumur 29 tahun. Kita memiliki umur yang sama. Oke. Okay? So in your sentence you must use S bla 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 S. Bu Nora semuda Miss Chika. So because they have same age so you can use S bla 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 S. Jadi kalau S bla 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 S digunakan untuk menunjukkan ya, sesuatu yang kamu bandingkan itu adalah memiliki tingkatan yang sama. So, my sentence become Miss Nora is yang eh Miss Nora is as yang as Miss Chica like that. Because we have the same age. Yeah, that's about the positive for S, blah, 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 S. Okay, and then less, blah, 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 then, yeah, it's for the lesser degree. For example, like, John is less active than James. Okay, John ini aktifnya itu lebih sedikit daripada si James. Then, artinya adalah dari Pagda. Then, You can use then, you can use then, you can use uh, then if you want to express in comparative degree. That's the point. And for the note, yeah. If the adjective ends with, yeah, so you just put nice, nicer, large, larger. No double. Okay. If the adjective ends with consonant, yeah, preceded by vowel, so the double consonant at er, okay, big become bigger. Sorry, there is a b here, yeah. Fat become fatter. Okay, double. Okay. If the adjective with why? Change Y into I before any ER. Pretty, prettier. Easy, easier. Sometimes adjective do not follow the above rule. For example, like good becomes better. Bad becomes worse. Okay, that's the rule in English about, uh, about the comparative and superlative. Second one is superlative. Okay, sorry. We can use the superlative, okay? Uh, if we want to try to compare all of the things in uh, one case. And then here, when the comparison involves more than two person or object, yeah, different with superlative, okay? But we can also use superlative in that form when you want to uh, express in comparison also. Sorry, sorry. If the adjective is a short work, the superlative form is usually formed by adding est. Yeah, different like comparative. Comparative er. So in the superlative est in short uh, sentence or maybe one syllable. For example, like tall. Tall one syllable become tallest. Kind one syllable become kindest. Oke, okay. jadi kamu menggunakan superlatif ini ketika kamu ingin membandingkan satu hal di antara banyak. Contoh, misalnya kita berada di dalam satu kelas. Nah, saya di antara kalian semua siapa yang lebih tua? Tentu saja saya, right? So in my sentence, I can say saya paling tua dari kalian semua. Tua adalah old, old satu syllable. Maka tinggal nambahkan est in your sentence. So my sentence become I am the oldest person in our class. That's the example. Okay, and the next one, if the adjective is a long word, a long word here means like more than two syllable. The superlative form usually form by adding most, yeah, or the least. Kalau tadi di comparative more, in the superlative most. Okay, or the least for the less degree. 
The most is used to show higher degree. Ya, yeah. then while the least is used to the lowest degree. Examples. Preparing budget is the most tedious job at the moment. This is the least expensive gift. Okay. The most tedious. Tedious. Expensive. Makanya dia pakai most dengan least. Okay. That's the point. For the note. If the adjective ends Y, you must change into I before adding EST. Examples. She is friendliness person in a group. Kimberly is loveliest baby in this contest. Friendly. Okay. Friendly. Friendly. Lovely. Okay. Why change into I before EST? And then the second rules. Some adjective, yeah, the same, yeah, in the comparative, do not follow above rules. Good, not goodest, no, but best. Bad, no baddest, but worse. That's the note for superlative and comparative. I think that's all about our topic for today. Yeah, I think it's enough. You can see, you can watch, you can read my explanation. Okay, my PPT. Okay, thank you. I think that's all. The last I say, sorry if I made mistakes in my speaking. See you next time. See you next uh Uh, day for our final examination okay thank you bye bye assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh